Welcome back to Predatory Fins. Today we're going to do a stock video and I want to show you everything we have in stock because we might be traveling. So we need to do, I'm going to see if I can convince the guy to do a sale. But before we start, I'm going to show you an update on this guy right here. So these are some of the fish that we rescued that we're going to keep for the exhibit, like this tiger shovel nose. Really nice. And this is Makita, the hybrid that we did the surgery on. Am I messing up his gill or no? No, no. You're, you're through, you're through. Stop, pull back. Okay, so I saw exactly where it came on. You can put the drill through and you'll see where the hole came out. So the surgery was done on that fin. And believe it or not, I have seen him use his fin. He does keep it more clamped than the other one, but he does use it. So it was much better than just ripping it off. Um, I think it helps him stabilize himself. And I can't wait when we move him from here to the big tank. I can't wait to see what it looks like. But this guy is definitely gonna be here at Predatory Fin. So when you guys come visit, you're gonna get to see Makita. I believe we're gonna keep that giant black Paku, the green Tambaki, the red Paku, and uh, everything else is gonna go to a rescue facility. But let's go ahead and jump into the video. Maybe, Pejai, now that we have these folks over here, what do you think about doing a sale on some of the fish that we need to yeah. keep moving? Cause well, like, I'm okay with lightening the load on some of the tanks. But why? Okay. Why are we going to China, bro? Let's explain to them why. Why? Because I need a break. Gonna... <laughs> From his wife. Business is an excuse, okay? You know she's gonna watch that video, right? Okay, so delete we're, that. We're gonna work hard in China, but I'm gonna take you guys along. We're gonna film everything that we do there, but basically we're trying to Meet a couple suppliers, business, suppliers, yes, lay down some connections, and, and so maybe forth. go to Stingrays facilities to get you know Fajai back into breeding Stingrays. But it's gonna be a good trip, so we're gonna take you guys along, and that's because that's why we're gonna do the stock video and see if we can move the load. But we already have more shipments coming in, so I know. the load's not gonna be light because you never stop ordering. No, I can't stop ordering. So let me take you guys around, and if you see something that you like that's not on the website because it's very possible, just let us know. Start off over here with these red Lucy's. Oh, no, these are these are red albino pearls. Oh, that's how much I know all these rays. Okay, red albino pearls. And are these for sale or these are keepers? This is, these are keepers. This is for sale down here. These are designer hybrids. But you wanted to keep that one. I, I want to keep the one up there. All right, so this guy, is that on website or no? I just put these two up yesterday. I'm still working on the other ones to get individual. So this one is a light color and that one looks amazing. Let me see if I can look from the top. The markings look so super cool. Yeah. You sure you don't want to keep that one, dude? Let's see. Phantoms. You want to do a discount for the Phantoms? <laughs> Always putting me on the spot. All right. How about this? I will, on the description, I will put a list of every fish that's on discount with their price. How about that? That's good, right. right? Okay. Okay. We have two Golden Bear Mundis that are not on the website. But I think the smaller guy here is sold. So we're going to possibly sell that one or keep it these colors look really nice yo how about this cow on the sts i think I, I think he's gone so i'll make sure we'll put some sts for sale on this count but these guys are amazing some discounts on st uh, uh we'll come up with something i mean look at the colors on that one yeah it, it's it's been a while since i had this kind of quality st so i'm a a little bit attached. I, I, I'm enjoying it every day. <laughs> I, I know, aren't you going to put these on the tub? That's why you're holding yeah. off, right? Yeah. You're see them. Th like three of these are going to go in the tub. Two of these are going to go in the tub. And then the rest will be for sale. So, so we might have a whole ST set up so in the you, front. If you don't take one quick, I'm going to be selecting all the ones I want. Once it's in the tub, it's not for sale anymore. I have a feeling he's going to do that regardless. <laughs> what about these? Yeah, these are also the red albino pearls. Red albino pearls, okay. We have some Cuban guards here. And they're all allowed in Florida, but they're not allowed in California. 
couple black diamonds and they're so trained like they literally see us and they come thinking this food super healthy the red ones uh, the yellow ones sold yeah what about that one cinnamon's available okay and then down here we still got a couple of the Piraiba. we have a couple of the Karuskans left so these are the albino silver iguanas and they look amazing they have a lot of red on them beautiful fish down here we have baby air pimas but we also have some bigger ones and these are the chameleon and look at the white and black one all right yo i gotta go guys what does that one call chameleon just uh, chameleon, marble chameleon um, or no oh. yeah, chameleon uh, lorcardi okay so what if somebody wants that guy believe it or not they all look like that but when they came in they were all like white and black like that but then they adapted or changed but if you look carefully that you can yeah you know what it's hard to tell no I'm not i even gonna... i can't see anything they all look black yeah but they were all white they were selected like that is that one on the website because it's bigger it is all right it is all right, so you gotta go. I gotta go. So we'll, me and them can figure out the the discounts on our own. Don't don't burn us too hard, okay? <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow. So we got a couple of these guys here. These are the marble tiger shovelnos, and they put on some size. So if you see one that you like, and you want to take a screenshot, and say, hey, I want that exact guy. Let us know, or girl, we never know. Look at that. This one's really nice right here, too. A lot of cool markings. We're growing out this uh, Platinum Florida Gar. These are the bigger Arapaimas. All eating frozen food already. Healthy batch. Right here are the Ripsaw Tiger Shovel Nose Hybrid. We don't have that many left. And I have no idea when we're gonna get more because we don't know if the breeder is gonna be able to produce more. So these are the only ones left. We have some corridors here. Angels. This is like Fiji stuff, so I don't really know what a lot of these fish are. And here we have the Bumblebee Oscars and hybrids red tail tiger shovel nose hybrids and they all look super fat everybody just ate so all these fish are super fat right here is a collection that we're going to grow or are growing for the for the exhibit so we have chinese perch three of them a golden korean perch that looks pretty cool this albino like a shovel nose with the one black guy and then right here we have the albino luteus i don't know what happened to his spin there the albino tiger shovel nose this one is all albino and that guy right there that's a regular clown knife with crazy spots but back on the stuff for sale we got fajaca puffers we have a nice batch they all look super healthy this thing is cloudy because we just fed them shrimp, but look how fat these guys are right now. So we're gonna have to do a water change, but yeah, it's, they ate a lot, they ate pretty good. Up here we have a group of uh, fire eels, some rope fish, some bigger ones. Hey, the black one here is fire eel or that's the unicorn one? That's the, the unicolor. Unicolor. All right, very pretty. What what are these called again before you leave? I, I don't remember. <laughs> There's a new, like, L2532. I, I, I'll know. look it up. I'll look it up. But they're really nice. They look like a leopard. They're not cheap, right? No, they're, they're expensive pleco. They're more rare pleco. Okay, so we have the red tail gouramis. Here we have the blue eye tetras. They came in a really great size. Like there's some really big ones in there. Awesome fish. They're hard to, to, to receive because sometimes they're very fragile and delicate, but really pretty as well. Like if I can zoom in, it's a 
really pretty Tetra. And flag tails, vampire fish, or vampire plecos. The red ignog. We only have a couple left. Albino redhead tapajos. I think we have only two jelly catfish. So if you guys like these monster cats, we have two of them. Bumblebee cats. We we'll have a group of them, and they're eating uh, pellets and frozen foods. Red tail. This is a good batch. They're all eating pretty good. Pinstripe Dumba. Also eating pretty good. Quarantine ready to go. Couple of the blue eye panaki. We have probably two of them. Yellow eggnog. This tank here we have a mixture of Wells cats and claw knives all around four inches up here we have the blue hackle discus and this pure eva right here was super skinny when it came in you can still see the bones on top we treated her with our medicine and we're trying to see if uh she'll pull you know around and i'll definitely keep her but i wanted to show you guys that the medicine does work so Eventually, we'll put it up for sale. In this tank here, we have pink tail chelsis. Looks like some Neritas. Black Widow Frontosas. They're all doing pretty good. One. Um, hairy Puffer. In this tank here. These guys are mean, man. They'll bite anything. Oh, and there's a couple of uh, baby Zabrinas as well. Just a little hard to see them. This right here, I think the panda ones we're gonna grow out for the exhibit is the one with the black eyes. And then these are two red masseurs. And they're up for sale on the website. They're not cheap. They weren't cheap to get them in either. More of a rare type of masseurs. We have a couple claw horns. Ready, I like this guy a lot. Really pretty. That one looks like a red dragon with the, with the big, big cock. Perfectly round. Let's see what we have here. The Chinese algae eaters. Super weird looking fish and they have like a hole in the back of their head. We have Panda URUs that came in another batch. These are being treated right now. So I say within a week, they should be ready to go. Chinese perch. You might have like six or seven of them. There's another tank with some more. These, I, I wish somebody would just take them all and put them in a the tank. They're great. They're doing great. They're eating. They're growing. Really pretty angels. Maybe um, if one of you guys want, I'll convince Fate Jai to uh, do a better price and take the whole group. These are the Golden Severums. I don't know what that is. I'm not even gonna lie. You know what that is? I got, I have no, idea. no idea, right? <laughs> Somebody brought him in and he said what it was, but I don't know. There's a pair. There's that one and that one. And they're never gonna sell because they're not on the website. Here are the Hammerhead Catfish. I like these guys a lot because they like to swim. They're not just like a driftwood cat that sits on the bottom. They do sit on the bottom as well, but they like to swim. And I like those guys. Super cool. They're all on the website. Amazing fish. Yo, do you know what these are, Anthony? The one with the hump head? The geophagus with the hump head? Do a, do a party or some stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, like something like that. There's three different ones I can yeah, look at those lips. Yeah, those nice lips. Yep, nice lips. <laughs> but they're out for sale on the website. And then these, uh, the Target Ferrari. Which ones? These? 
It looks like it, right? No, I think those are the red, 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 red shoulder. Red shoulder reset room. Okay. Red shoulder reset room. Thank you, thank you. These guys look amazing, man. The colors on them is the Golden Line Royals. There's only four left. Right here we have, we have the Marble Gobies. A school of short body albino. Tin foil barbs. I don't mind keeping the whole school and putting one big tank. I think they'll look amazing. The blue botias. Awesome fish. They're a great size already. But we do have quite a few. So I want to do like a package deal on them. Because they do better in groups just like the, the con loaches. We have some more big Severums here, or not Severums, uh, Geophagus. I'm gonna try to figure out what they are. Fajai brought them in, so I wasn't here for that. But he's got some really pretty ones. Look at this guy. So medium to extra large. And here we have a couple Tiger Mori eels, full fresh water. A couple bichers. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. Some albinos back there, Senegals. And a couple of the wolf fish. Look at that belly. Talking about wolf fish, I have the blue Aymara coming back probably this weekend. So I'll have them listed. They don't last. Last time they sold pretty fast. I'll have, I'll ask for two real Aymaras and two uh, black Kurupari wolf fish. Last time we had them, they're also so pretty fast. But one wolf fish that I enjoy a lot are these guys. The problem is they beat the crap out of each other, so we had to separate them all, which is difficult because then they beat the crap out of other fish. So right now they're all separate. A wolf fish that we put it together that did really amazing, that I have never seen before, or never brought it in before, are these guys right here these are the gold wolf fish and they did nothing to each other look their fins are perfect there's another one down here wait that was a red oh i guess maybe maybe we sold them all there's only one left but yeah these guys are not aggressive at all and they like to swim like which i like a lot like majority of the wolf fish they sit on the bottom and they hide these dudes were always just cruising on top. The gold wolf fish. Blue masseers. Then we have some smaller flower horns growing as well. These guys weren't cheap at all when we brought them in, but through shipping, they lost a little bit of their hump, so hopefully they grow back. The neons. Big guy's favorite. I'm not sure what these are. There's quite a few. And here we have the big spot, Snowball. And a couple of the true parrots. So I think that's pretty much it. Oh no, we have more on the sink right here. In here we have Baramundis. They're eating pellets and the frozen mini monsters. They're doing really well. The vampire shrimp. We got some big ones in here too. The tiger bass. And guys, if you know, if you, any of you want all these goldfish, literally, and uh, the koi, take them all. All the goldfish and koi, just give me a, <laughs> an offer and take them all. Uh, and this guy as well. Best offer I would take him home. He's pretty big. He's about seven, seven to eight inches. What do you think, Anthony? Seven to eight inches? Yeah, no, he's a beast. Yeah. He's quite a beast. A little aggressive. That's why he's by himself. Yeah, he's been with us for a little while. but I think this is a giraffe, right? That's what they're called? I honestly, there's so many different names. Uh, maybe. It looks like it because of the spines. This one was imported too. And then we have an albino lungfish. A couple African pikes. They're already eating frozen. Always swimming. I think we have one left of these guys. Crazy, 
crazy looking fish. Uh, here, there's light on the way. Bigger catfish there, red tail. We have a titan, some snooks. A snow, um, this is a uh, full spotted watermelon placo and another big parrot right there. Steven Sunai is another type of uh, rare masseurs. We have a whole school of them. And then here are the blue masseurs. And as they get bigger, you start seeing the blue colors on them. But the really cool thing about these fish is they're always swimming. So if you like to have fish in your tank that never stop, <laughs> these guys will do the trick. And here we have some giraffe nose catfish. Some golden giant garamis. These don't have the red eyes. And uh, the spotted leaf fish from Africa, albino clown, and maybe one or two of the sex faciata, or maybe three, or well, maybe four. <laughs> Definitely four, that's it. We got albino clowns right here. We also have these really large angels. I'm not sure if they're on the website, but if you want one of them, just uh, send me a screenshot of the one you want and I'll go ahead and uh, sell it to you. A couple of royal clowns, large size, probably around 12 inches. I want to get a deal on them as well to get them out. This right here is a pair of white parrots, white with red, and they're laying eggs everywhere, as you guys can see. So if any of you wants to breed some parrots, let me know, we'll send these guys. And I think these are the earth eaters, Jurupari. Well, there's two types in there. But they're all on the website, according to Fake Jai. Here we have a couple of mascara barbs left. <coughs> Some albino arrow barbs. And I think that's it. And I think that's it. So we do have to get rid of some more fish to bring these orders in. We can't stock up too much because we're gonna be gone for about 10 days, but I think it's gonna be a crazy trip and I'm gonna take you guys along, all right? If you saw anything that you liked through the entire store and it's not on the website, just let us know in the comments below or you can send us an email at livefishatpredatoryfins.com or even a text at 561-430-7944. All right, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.